Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve question number 10 of exercise 2.2. Here also we have to evaluate this expression. Now, as I told you in the previous video, if base has two powers, so these powers will be multiplied first. So this is a 2n plus 1 will remain as it is multiplied by a. These two are different parts, so these must be multiplied. Now, if I consider this 2n as a and this as b, so this is a plus b and I consider this as a, so this will be a minus b. And we know that when a plus b is multiplied by a minus b, so the result is equals to a square minus b square. So in place of this, I can write this. So our a square will be 2a square and our b square will be 1 square. Whole upon the denominator n when multiplied by 4n will be 4n square and multiplied by 1 will be minus n is multiplied by. Again these are two parts. This will be 4n plus 6. 2 multiplied by 2n is 4n. 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. Further solving this, this is a raised to power 2n plus 1 is multiplied by a. This is 2n whole square means 2 square is 4, n square is n square minus 1. 4 upon a raised to power 4n square minus n multiplied by a raised to power 4n plus 6. Now, we know that when the base is same, and these two are multiplied, so obviously the power gets added. Similarly here also, if the base is same, the power will be added here. So this can be written as, this is A is the base, and when this power is added to this power, we will give 2n plus 1 plus 4n square minus 1. Similarly in the denominator, base is same, we have to add the power, so this is 4n square minus n plus 4n plus 6. Now further solving this, this and this plus minus can be cancelled, so this will be a 2n plus 4n square and in the denominator, this is a 4n square will remain as it is, these are like terms, so 4 plus minus is minus, 4 minus 1 is 3 and the sign will be of greater value means the sign will be positive because greater value has positive sign plus 6 now again here the base is same and here these are divided so obviously the power should be subtracted here so this is a 2n plus 4n square this is the first part and subtracted 4n square plus 3n plus 6. This is our second part. So this will be a 2n plus 4n square. There is a negative sign outside the bracket. So it should change all the signs inside the bracket. So plus will become minus 4n square. Again this will become minus 3n or this will become minus 6. Now these two terms can be cancelled. These two can be solved. So plus minus is minus, so 3 minus 1 is, 3 minus 2 is 1 and with negative sign because greater value has negative sign and minus 6. Now if I have to solve this further, if I take minus as common, so this will be 6 plus n or you can write it as n plus 6 because you have taken minus sign common. Now we know that if something has power and the power is negative, to convert this into positive, we have to reciprocal this. So this should be our answer. So this should be our answer for this particular question. I hope you have understood how to solve this. Thank you.